Welcome to a brand new day, a brand new show life, I always tell you. That seems to be my tagline. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to us. Um, and as promised, we have brought another super exciting guest on the show today. But before we start off with the guest, uh, I can tell you a little bit about her. Okay, now she sings. Uh, she is a very bubbly person. And she is capable of anything. You'll know what I mean <laughs> when we proceed into the show. <laughs> we have on the show, Vitma Kumarge. Hi. Hi. You're supposed to say hi to me first and then to the camera. All right, so hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Are you a morning person? I ask this from everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, not so much, I guess. No, no, I'm not. I'm not at okay, all. Okay, so you drag yourself out of bed. Yeah, pretty much. But you're a singer. You're supposed to wake up early in the morning and then inspire the world by your voice. <laughs> you don't do uh, that? No. I'm you don't different. do that? I'm a different type of singer. Okay. Tell so me, what, what is your difference? I don't know. It's more like... Um, I don't go behind people and tell them to like me. It's like, you know, it's only if they do. So, okay. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, but like, you know, to no, it does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it doesn't make sense. As in it, it, it's not related to my question. My question was, <laughs> do you sing early in the morning? Do you practice singing in the, the shower? Morning? Yeah, I do. In the shower. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so you're a shower singer. We have a shower singer on the show today. Very un uninspirational. Seriously, it's good. You yes, must sing good. in the shower. The water helps. No, it it sort of <laughs> <laughs> it sort of helps you improve in a way, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why do you like to have early in the morning um, for a, as a drink? I, I know that it's it's good for the vocals when it comes to hot drinks. Yeah. And um, um, I'd say, okay, my mom gives me a teaspoon of honey and a drop of lemon. Oh yeah, that's. I heard yeah. it's very good. It's amazing. I mean, it yes. doesn't taste amazing, but it's amazing. And candy. No. No, no candy. candy. That was a candy. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are not here to talk about tea, coffee, or candy. If you are hungry, please hold on. Vitma is also going to sing for us today. So okay, so Vitma, you are 16 year old, years old. Yeah. Oh, I said 16 year old because there's a big grammatical mistake on the round, but that's okay. Um, you are 16 years old, and you have been singing for how long? I've been singing for three, at least three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least three. What years. made you start singing, Vitma? Um, there was a lot of influence. Mm -hmm. My mom, my sisters, um, a lot of my music teachers. I thank Sir Sean right now. And um, the person who started, who got me started singing, would be Miss Ruanti. Okay. And um, yeah, I practiced under Miss Neluka Sayuratna, mm -hmm. and so on. Then I s took a break, and then just started recently. Actually, last yeah, yeah, I started really recently, and um, now I'm practicing under Sir Sean. So you've been training uh, vocally for three years. Um, yeah, sort of. It's right. more like an on and off thing. It's, yeah, okay. it's an on and off thing. All it's right. usually that. Okay. Are you a performer? Um, self? I wouldn't call myself a performer. <laughs> okay. But, Why? yeah, I mean, I mean, a performer is like, you know, there. I wouldn't call myself there yet. Okay. I'm still... No, what I'm saying is when you, when, when, you know, people have different connotations when it comes to performing, right? Yeah. Um, say, for example, you can be a very outgoing performer, you can dance and sing, or somebody, you know, if, if you are a very subtle and a very submissive performer, you can just stand in one place and sing, which doesn't happen in my regard. So, <laughs> what sort of category do you fall okay, into? Okay, I'd say dance and sing. Of course, it's just Yeah, it's just, it's just, just you have to get the audience's attention, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. What are the tricks that you use to get the audience attention? Um, <laughs> I, I like starting off slow, okay. as if the story, song's going to be really boring, and then suddenly doing something really crazy oh. on stage. So not like, you know, flying off the stage or something like that. Not like walk. that. No, no. No, okay. <laughs> not like that. More like, you know, suddenly dancing out of the blue. Mm. That's sort of my thing, so mm. yeah. All right. What sort of, so talking about dancing, uh, dance music, is it inspirational for you? Um, what sort of music do you like? Do you is, what sort of music do you um, mostly listen to? Listen to yeah. or sing as in listen to because that comes up yeah. again. Yeah. Um, okay, so I listen to songs or music sung by very famous artists or very catchy and nice performers, I guess. Okay. Christina like? Aguilera, okay. Bruno Mars. I mean, their songs have so much of beat into it, and so much of inspiration. So mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I guess so. And um, yeah, music I'm listening to these days is more like, um, actually, no music at all. 
exams, <laughs> all of those. Uh, oh, wow. Right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. you, don't, you don't listen to music as therapy? You know, some people do that. Yeah. Uh, while studying. That's doing maths only. You cannot do it in science subjects. No. Ah, okay. okay. So, when it comes to memorizing, you can't listen to no, music? No, no, no. Right. Interesting. Students out there <coughs> okay, who are using music as an excuse, well, that was a singer talking to us saying, you can only listen to music while making your sums. All right. But that was just a professional advice. I don't advise that. I actually... <laughs> Go, go completely opposite to that because I listen to music all the time. Uh, but when it comes to uh, particular singers, you mentioned Bruno Mars, Christina Aguilera. When you perform, do you use uh, the songs of the same singers? Um, well, recently I performed at Revel. Okay. So, um, yeah, I use songs sung by uh, Christina Aguilera and Katy Perry. So I'd say yeah, I'd go under those songs most of the time. Why um, Katy Perry? I, her songs, um, they have so much of soul in it. Like, like <laughs> Dark Horse, the one yeah, that I've yeah, yeah. sung, and um, the recent one that she let out. I can't remember the name. That's okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, songs, they have so much a meaning into it. Right. I mean, she doesn't sing it like random. Most of the artists, they just think of a song or randomly sing it. Yeah. So, but like, there's always a backstory to the song she sings. Okay. So. Nice. All right. So, you don't listen to rap? Um. Actually, <laughs> Dark Horse is a rap part that I'm s that like you know yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. Um, not much a rap person but mm -hmm. yeah I guess um, beatboxing these days are amazing mm. my friend Khalid is beatboxing and okay. yeah I heard Julius Mitchell, Mitchell sing it oh say it my God amazing okay. right so yeah beatboxing is pretty good <laughs> okay so um now see the style of your singing um do you did you adapt it from somewhere else or is it your own um. Adapt oh, in the bits sense. and pieces from other people. Yeah, I think it's uh, no, actually no. I don't. I like doing everything unique. That's what I meant. Yeah. So okay. I don't <laughs> think it's bits and pieces either. It's my own style, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in, in your opinion, what what sort of genre do you fall into when it comes to musical musicality? I'm sorry. Which uh, which genre do you fall into when it comes to singing music? Um, pop, rock. I go for beatboxing. Pop. Not I'm just saying. <laughs> I go for pop, yeah. <laughs> pop, go pop. For pop. Obviously, Bruno Mars, Christian <laughs> Exactly. Aguilera. Okay. Have you ever tried a different genre? Maybe uh, you thought uh, of uh, pushing your comfort Oh, I used zone. to sing. I used to try opera a little bit. A little bit. Sometimes, actually. A little bit of opera. Just okay. out of the blue. Okay. So, you will sing for us? You're missing some <laughs> um, opera? <laughs> Not opera. <laughs> let, let's, move, let's move on. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sure you can. I'm just saying. We, we, we shall keep the save up the singing for the last bit of the show. <laughs> All right, so now um, you told me that you've been performing uh, pretty much uh, in Colombo. Yeah. All right, so I where have you performed so far? Um, recently, I performed at Live Light mm -hmm. and um, at Revo and um, school events most of the time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So, How has it been uh, from, uh, I mean, your feedback from your friends and your family? Um, friends, amazing. As in, you know, family, not amazing. Family, not amazing. Family, uh-uh. It was <laughs> more like, um, I Passive? mean, my family, like, they're really honest, but like, you know. Constructive so, criticism. Yeah. Right. Need that. <laughs> but you need that. You need yeah, exactly. that. Exactly. It, it helps you build up. It helps you build up your confidence. And you know what not to do yeah. and what to do in the, f in the future. So yeah. Who is your musical mentor? Um, my mom. Yeah, my mom. So she's uh, Simon. She is the push. <laughs> she she's is Simon Cover for you. She is everything what to Simon me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. She is wow. Okay. <laughs> she is um, very informative and direct. So mm -hmm. yeah, she is the one who brought me up yeah pretty much so so basically she notices all details of your music yep. and the performance she tells you all the she tells me every the, marks the negatives yeah. and the positives and she tells me who said the negatives and the positives so what is it with moms they notice every tiny thing <laughs> don't you think so I mean, so, when true, so true when you're on stage they notice every tiny thing about you and they're like you didn't do that you didn't do this <laughs> uh, only you notice mom Seriously, there are some things that only mothers notice when it comes to performances. That's because they know you best. Of course, of course, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so, you mentioned to us uh, where you uh, performed already. Now, um, your dream, is your ultimate dream, is to, uh, is your ultimate dream um, ending up in Sri Lanka or do you actually dream more than that, above, beyond that? Um, well, 
it depends. If I get the opportunity, yeah, I guess okay. more than a but you're but then, at the moment. Like you know, it's nice doing stuff at your at at home. Yes, of course, it's better doing because you know everyone and. But where would you like to perform, Ivan? Um, a good dream of mine is to perform at BMC H, BMC H, like okay. solo, like yeah. a proper solo at BMC H, like wow. ongoing over and over again, covers and songs sung by myself, written by myself. So yeah. Like that. Can we have a preview of a song <laughs> right now? Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. with Ma, a preview of BMICH performances, which we will see in another couple of years, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, so sing a part of the song. Of course. <coughs> I knew you were. You were gonna come to me, and here you are. You better choose carefully, 'cause I'm capable of anything. Of anything and everything, make me your Aphrodite, make me your one and only. But don't make me your enemy. I won't make you my enemy because <laughs> I know you're capable of everything. <laughs> All right, on that note, we are going for a very, very short commercial break. We'll be right back with Vidma.